Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. Doc Robin here with this week's weather report. It is Monday, May 23rd, and you are in the actualization zone. And if you're on YouTube watching this video, join the actualization zone. Just head over to Facebook and type that into type the actualization zone into the search bar and it'll come right up as a Facebook group. And we will also drop the link in the show notes for this as well. So welcome. Today I want to talk about something that I've kind of had my finger on the pulse of for a while and I haven't brought forward into this conversation. So I wanted to do that for all of us today. If you have been feeling stagnant in your work, if you have been feeling like things are not moving in your career or in your business, it doesn't matter if you're in the corporate space or if you are a business owner, um, there is, there's been a lot of stagnation that I've been hearing lately. Some of it could be related to burnout for sure. Just being overtired, exhausted at surge capacity, just from the chronic stress that we individually and collectively have been under for the past couple of years as we've been moving in this great awakening cycle that we're in now. But there's one thing in particular, I think that's contributing to the the feeling of stagnation. And that is the existential angst or the existential conundrum, anxiety, depression, dread about the future. And I can't say I blame you. This has been a really difficult time, especially for the intuitives, the, the ones who can kind of see beyond what's going on in the in the 3D space and be able to see kind of the, the behind the scenes, what's going on behind the scenes as we're going through this time. And, um, you know, there I've worked with intelligent, intuitive women leaders for a long time, many, many of whom are highly intuitive. I would even call them psychic, um, if you want to use that word, uh, who are professionals in their fields and who often leave that psychic sense or that sixth sense kind of behind closed doors and they know stuff, but they don't really talk about it. And um, one of the things that I know about this group of people, because I am one also, is that we um, have a real challenge being on this planet at this time. In fact, there's a lot of times there's a sense of homesickness, wanting to go home, not wanting to be here on this planet, wanting to leave not being suicidal, I'm not talking about that, but just knowing that things are not as they seem or as they appear to be. And as we move further into this next chapter of this awakening process that the world is going through, I think that those feelings are going to continue to rise up, not to be ignored or to be squashed down again, but to be transformed and to be leaned into. So if that, if that resonates for you, that could be one of the reasons that you're stagnating in your business or in your career. It can feel like a glass ceiling. It can feel like everything is dried up. Maybe if you've got clients, you don't have new clients coming in. You wonder what's wrong with you. You wonder what, what you're doing wrong. You wonder what you need to do differently. And we try to problem solve around the problem of stagnation and lack of momentum but we problem solve from the same consciousness that actually created or contributed to the stagnation and lack of momentum. So what do we do? What do we get when we create from the same consciousness that originated the experience? We get more of the experience. So today what I want to encourage you in this weather report is to look at some underlying energies, influences that we can actually use to shift the experience that we're having with the world right now to shift the experience that you're having with your job, with your, with your profession, with your business, because here's what I need to know for sure. If you're not dead, you're not done. And I know that's a very blunt, straightforward way of putting it, but <clears throat> I really think that we are all here for a purpose. I believe that with all of my heart. And really, if you're still living and breathing, there's still something here for you. There is something that you are meant to be doing, and it may not even be doing out there, but internally, maybe something that you're meant to be mastering, maybe something that you're meant to be contributing, to be creating, 
that hasn't been even thought of or created yet. But it's hard to get at those things when you walk around with kind of this wet gray blanket of existential dread. So the idea here today is let's, as best we can, let's take off that, that wet gray blanket of existential dread and bring you back into your bright shining self where you can actually begin to create momentum again in your career, in your business. And when I talk about that with careers, one of the things that I notice when people are in stagnation is that <clears throat> maybe their raises and promotions stop coming in as quickly as they used to. Maybe there's a sense of being kind of on the gerbil wheel, doing the same thing over and over and over again. It can feel like burnout, but again, it, it goes deeper than that. I think for many intuitive and intelligent people, deeper than burnout. And it really is that existential conundrum of what am I even supposed to be doing here? And it can show up as boredom and frustration. It can show up as, I don't want to get out of the bed in the morning. And if you are a business owner, and I speak to both groups because that's who's in my community or both groups. If you're a business owner, it can feel a whole lot like there's nothing going on in business. It's like the doldrums at sea. When a, when a ship is at sea and the, the, they've got the doldrums, there's no wind. So I want to add some wind today. We're going to add some wind. We're going to add some momentum, some fire to our experiences so that we can get back out into the world and start shifting things in the way that we are meant to be shifting things. So in a way, today's session at the weather report is really designed to build some fire, build some momentum, get things moving in a positive, uplifting direction rather than kind of hanging out and stagnating. Because the truth of it is you're not doing anybody any good when you're stagnating. And by the way, stagnating is different from resting. Resting is a conscious, mindful experience. Stagnation starts to feel that sticky, icky energy of that I'm sluggish and I really don't want to do anything. And for me, it manifests also as kind of a bad attitude. I don't know about for you, but it might. So let's just see what are the things that we can do to shift the energy. And I'm going to just pull a couple of cards. First one. You know, I've used cards for years when I was even working in the corporate space long ago, like when I had my, my intuitive awakening 20 some years ago, I was using cards even back then when I was working in corporate America as a medical writer, a clinical scientist. So if you're in corporate, you can still use Oracle cards. Nothing says that you can't. In fact, I think they're wonderful, wonderful guides. All right. So here's what comes up today. I'm using um, Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light Oracle deck today, Work Your Light. And the overriding energies for this week are around tuning into what's being called a council of light. Some of you have heard me talking about working with a council of light or a, a council of non-physical guides who are here to, they are benevolent and they are here to support us in our, our transitions from this old world and old way of doing things into the new way of doing things, the new world that we're creating. So tuning in to your helpers, your divine helpers, your guides, your angelic support. There are a lot of very, very gifted, intuitive and intelligent people who are who have access to your guides, to your guardian angels. And yet intellectually, we, make, we don't make sense of that. Intellectually, we have been trained from the time we're pretty young to just use our own capabilities, our own intellect. But now is not the time to do that. Now is the time to really tune into the subtle energies to the non-physical as I do and as I teach my clients to do as well. So tuning into your own counsel, your own executive round table in the spiritual realm and start asking them for support on the stagnation as well. 
Um, the next thing, I think this has come up before for us in the weather report is to get grounded. We live a lot as in intelligent people. We live a lot from the neck up. So we do a lot of our processing, decision-making, thinking from our intellect, nothing wrong with that. But we've reached a place in our world, in our lives where the intellect has diminishing returns. The intellect is meant to be the servant, not the master, not the queen, not the gift. The intuition is meant to be the gift. Einstein is credited with saying that. Intuition is a sacred gift and reason is its faithful companion. And we've created a culture, a world that honors the companion or the servant and has forgotten the gift. So this is about getting grounded, getting back into your body, walking, going outside, drinking lots of water, making sure your electrolytes are balanced. All of these things are going to help you tune in again to your natural intuition. And intuition is the thing that's going to get you out of the stagnation. It's not going to be from thinking, thinking, thinking. Overthinking is just like spinning your wheels in mud. Intuition rises you up above the mud. Um, as you get yourself grounded, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but as you ground in your frequency, your vibe actually raises, you start to feel better. And when your vibe raises, you have access to new ideas new ways of doing things, new solutions that come from your intuition. So the grounding is important so that you can tune into your own intuition, into the non-physical, into the guidance that you can receive from your angelic support. And remembering that as you do that, you are a truth teller. You're a truth teller. And truth has its own frequency. And so when you're grounded and tuned in, that's the frequency that comes through is truth. The knowing, the wisdom that you have access to comes in through the channel of grounded and elevated frequency. And then the last one today is an awakening. And this is the, we're going to call these energetic upgrades that need to be taking place non-physically in the subtle energy body in order to shift gears for you physically. In fact, what my experience is, as I've been developing the actualization methodology that I use and apply to every aspect of my life and teach my clients to do the same. The, um, a lot of times the shifts change, the shifts take place energetically first, emotionally first, and then finally show up in the heavier dimension, the physical, the physical world. So rather than taking on another Sisyphusian task, you know, Sisyphus was the Greek God who was being punished. So he had to roll the boulder up the hill and every night the boulder would roll down the hill. And then the next day he'd have to roll it back up the hill. We want to get away from those Sisyphusian tasks entirely. And that's where we're headed. But we cannot do that if we are primarily focused on problem solving from the intellectual plane. Instead, what we are being invited into is to upgrade our relationship with the world, upgrade our relationship with how we understand how things get done. And so much of it gets done unconsciously, energetically, intuitively, and if you can allow that to work for you, then whatever drops in into your physical space, the new job, the new clients, the new opportunities, the raises, the promotions, all of those things just come through as a result of who you are being, not so much of what you are doing. So net net this week, less doing, less roll your sleeves up and get to work and get down in the weeds and all of those colloquialisms that came out of the corporate speak, the corporate space, and get back into your body and tune into your intuition. That's a very precious part of who we are as human beings is our intuition, that wise part of who you are that comes from your heart space, not your intellect. 
And when you do that, you can actually tune in for yourself and just ask questions like, what's the best way for me to move out of the stagnation? Sometimes it's just moving subtle energy, like, or even heavy energy, like you're cleaning your desk off, making your bed, folding your clothes, those kinds of things. But then also just helping your physical body feel better is another really wonderful way of moving your whole life out of stagnation. So it's time. It's time to get out of stagnation. It's time to get back into the flow, back into contribution, back into mastery. And remember this too, stagnation is different from rest. Rest is mindful, conscious, a decision. Stagnation is sticky, icky, muddy energy that we are shifting out of effective immediately, individually and as a collective. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. I'm happy to announce that the doors for my McKay Academy of Actualization are opening soon. This is an academy where I'm going to be teaching intuitive and intelligent people from all professions, engineers, physicians, business leaders, CEOs of your own business, my specific steps, the process that I take to actualize my greatest hopes and dreams that I've been developing over the past 22 years. If you want to get on the wait list for early notification of when the doors open, you can go to drrobinmckay.com forward slash wait list, get on the wait list there, and we will notify you as soon as those doors open. All right. Until next week, Big love, and I will see you in the actualization zone.